as we just saw in meditation, there is just thoughts and feelings appearing and no thinker or no separate doer of these thoughts and feelings. So what are the implications of this when we make a choice? Because when we make a choice, even a simple choice for what to have for lunch, is nearly lunchtime here in the UK. And what happens in experience is that there is the first thought. What will I have for lunch or what do I want for lunch? And then there's three options, let's say lasagna, spaghetti and bread or a sandwich. And then there is a, another thought that says I will have spaghetti. But all of this is unfolding within awareness. So there is still no choose and there is still only one I. Our true I is the I of awareness within which everything unfolds, within which everything is experienced. And this is how a choice is made. It is an effortless unfolding of thoughts. Of course, sometimes we, we forget that our true self is this open, empty, present awareness that allows everything to unfold. And we start to believe that we are the, the thinker, the doer, the chooser. And that is, of course, totally fine. The problem comes when there is, uh, with a decision like what to have for lunch, it doesn't really matter whether we are awareness or, or a separate doer. But when it comes to bigger decision, when, when it comes to life choices, sometimes there is a lot of tensions and anxieties and worries that come with these decisions. And that's when it becomes very helpful to recognize that we are not this decision maker we are not the the doer that has to make these important decisions but rather we can remain as the presence of awareness and allow the decisions to to happen in this way to to watch the body do to to watch the mind unfold and then there is no no such stress no such anxieties because we know that Everything is simply unfolding and life becomes easier in this way. Part of the reason why this appearance of separation, this creation of a separate doer and thinker and decision maker appears is precisely to release our idea that we are separate from life, from awareness, from consciousness, from God. To, to let go of the idea that there can be anything other than presence, than love, than acceptance. And so that is why it's okay to also forget and to feel these resistances, to, to feel these beliefs in separations and let them go. And now to go more into the implications of this, the first implication is that when we know ourself as awareness then it is much easier to allow all thoughts feelings and behaviors to happen there is no judgment there is no desire for something other than what is we can simply allow things to unfold and slowly our intentions to find a better experience our desire for something different than what currently is fades away and we are completely fine with any any experience anything that we see anything that we do um, and we allow it to happen the second big implication is that we also know that it's true for others as well when they think that they are separate when they identify as a doer as a decision maker and maker as a thinker we can see their their stress their anxieties we can see them judging themselves and and um, condensing into a, a separate form but we don't judge them we accept their experience we are present with them if 
something comes through us to say to them or, or to help them in some way, then we let that unfold. But um, it's, a, it's a really big relief to see another's experience, to have the compassion and the understanding, but not to, um, not to continue it, not to feel that ourselves, not to get um, lost ourselves. The third implication is that we see the, the larger pattern of the unfolding. We become freedom itself. We become awareness itself. And then we allow everything to, to unfold as it is. We don't have a, a separate desire for things to be different. We don't judge ourselves. We don't judge others. We are simply the observing presence through which everything unfolds. It makes things easy in the sense that there is less thinking, there is less um, wondering whether you've said the right thing or done the right thing. Instead, you, you just watch as words come out of your mouth, as communication with others happens, as the body moves, as activity takes place. And um, it's, it's liberating. You, you can trust your intuition you can trust the intelligence of life more and more in a way it's not knowing because the mind doesn't know what will happen next and we are just open to whatever unfolds in this moment but that comes from knowing or awareness knowing that everything is unfolding as it should knowing that um, our experience is perfect as it is it doesn't need to change our peace our innate happiness is untouched by whatever experience we find ourselves in and so that is the the combination of the knowing and not knowing at once not knowing on the level of the mind knowing on the level of presence <laughs>